definitely a day that I'll never forget. My partner realized there was nothing we could do to contain the fire. Safety requires multiple layers of defense. No single layer is perfect. You have to work on making sure each is as solid as possible. <laughs> It was a pretty typical day. My partner and I were given the task of going out and re-welding in a permanent handrail near a control valve. We uh, got the necessary permits, went with the operator, uh, visually watched him test the area for the LEL levels. I was the fitter on the job, and so I started to grind the old section of handrail to fit a new piece in while my welder, Matt, was my spark watch. And so I was grinding away, prepping the handrail for welding, when all of a sudden uh, my spark watch said, hey Jeff. I noticed a shimmering effect in the sky. I could have swore I saw a small flicker of orange. That's when I notified Jeff, my partner. And so I immediately stopped and I looked where he was pointing. At the flange, you could just see a, sort of a shimmering effect. So it looked very much like uh, on a hot summer day, the shimmering that you see off the asphalt off in the distance. We got a little closer and we believed it was actually burning. Whoa, okay, this is a fire, we gotta get out of here. Matt and I uh, evacuated the area. I went to the control room to let operations know there was a fire at our job site. We don't want a fire in a plant like this. You're not exactly sure of the gases in the area. They could be present at any given time. With hydrogen, the flame is almost invisible during daylight, and hydrogen is a very difficult gas to detect with a gas detector. It wasn't until after that I realized how serious it was. We repaired the grating. They were pretty much burnt to dust. There was nothing left, which made you realize how hot that fire had actually gotten. The investigation tried to determine what was the cause of the leak. Was it thermal expansion during startup and shutdown of the plant? We found the cause was uh, gasket failure. My boss asked me to complete a study to see how we could prevent this from happening again. I wrote a report and presented it to management and I emphasized that we can reduce the risk of a leak happening again, but we can't guarantee there won't be one at that same location again. We've done everything we can. We have a proper torquing procedure. We've done a thorough investigation of our gasket materials to make sure that we're meeting all the specs. But flange leaks are inevitable. They're going to happen everywhere. We just need to be prepared for them. And a flange guard is really a leak mitigation device. It's not meant to be leak suppression. They're a simple, easy, and definitely economical way of managing any possible leaks. We could have some outside contractor make these, but doing it in-house, we know that it's done properly. One of the main features of our flange guards is the vent. Every flange guard we fabricate has a vent off the top of it, and it's going to redirect any leaks from the flange away from personnel, equipment, so that if it were to catch fire, if there was an ignition source, it's away from anyone. We would like the exhaust port to go away from the pipe at 45 degrees. The vent is key in that it gives a place where operations can easily test and find out if there are any fugitive gases. The operations can walk out with a wand gas tester and check each vent uh, every day during their rounds. And that way, if they notice anything, then they can mitigate the leak before it uh, turns into a problem. For installation, we also try to locate the vent as far away from the potential hookup areas. In certain situations, the pipe is congested with other pipe or fittings in the area or handrail. So there may be some consideration on where the vent is actually located. We're gonna install the last two valves and uh, fittings for the steam and the nitrogen. It also provides points where operations can either hook up nitrogen to create an inert atmosphere uh, around the leak or steam uh, to actually put out a fire, but also to uh, dilute any gas and uh, prevent any fire hazard. So if they were to come across a leaking flange, they bring the leaking material below its LEL. And that should be very good. It's ready for installation. They're designed not only for ease of testing for gases and ease of mitigating any fugitive gases, but also ease of removal and reinstallation should you ever need to access that flange joint. There's zero maintenance to them. Uh, as soon as they're installed, as long as they are reinstalled after you undo the flange, they should last the lifetime of the plant. 
managing the risk by being able to contain a leak and direct it out of vent to a safe location, as well as there was means there with valves to be able to snuff the fire out with either steam or nitrogen. If we found a flange that was leaking, there's not a lot we can do um, to really, really mitigate that hazard, but now we have these connections that contains it. it. It makes us feel safer. It's definitely a good safety measure. It was definitely a team effort, both in identifying which flanges required flange guards, planning out which guards needed to go on first in terms of priority and ease of access, and in the fabrication and uh, installation. We found this to be something that makes us feel safer. We can now manage a leak and we want to share it with the other plants to see if in fact they can use this uh, as well. The safety of all the workers out here, both in operations and in maintenance, is the highest priority and it's what we take most seriously here at Courtright. The Steve Wilson Award two years in a row would be a huge victory for our plant. But the thing that I'm most proud of is this solution didn't come from engineering, it didn't come from outside the plant, it came from our grassroots employees that understand our process and know best some of the solutions that will work. There's a little bit of pride when something does go as you planned it and it does fit as it's intended. So there's, a, there's some satisfaction that the job has gone well. At CF. At CF. We do it right. At CF, we're right. We do it right.